In Benue, the recently suspended Catholic priest, Hyacinth Ilea, in Benue State, has emerged the governorship standard bearer of the Upper Gases Congress for the 2023 general election. The chairman, Benue APC Primary Election Committee, Peter Oje, made the declaration at the party secretariat in Makadi, the state capital. Mayuwa Kwato reports. The Benue State Chapter of the All Progressive Congress had opted to use the direct mode for its primary elections. So off they went to their various council wards to take part in the process. Results began to trickle in at the state's party secretariat, where the chairman of the All Progressive Congress governorship primary election eventually declares the winner. Five two six eight zero seven. This is to certify that Reverend Father High Saint Alia, having scored the highest number of votes, that is hereby declared winner. Meanwhile, four of the state gubernatorial aspirants, including Senator Banabas Gamadi, Mike Undaka, Matthias Ibwa and Teemba Shija have registered their petitions to the Governorship Appeal Panel Committee. The aspirants who took turns to state their cases reject the outcome and called for a fresh primary to be conducted in the state. We aspirants were clearly denied the right to vote in this election or be voted for. A declaration that the purported direct primary election for APC gubernatorial primary election held on 27 May 2022 is now void and of no effect whatsoever and sent to therefore be cancelled. I was not coming to the race to joke. I also read the rules and the regulations uh, of this competition, and I was very much aware of it. There was an initial controversy about the method to be used. Newt also takes to the streets of Makadi calling for the intervention of the APC national chairman in the gubernatorial primaries, as they believe it was mismanaged. We want to officially call on the national chairman of APC to intervene by way of cancelling the, the, the primaries and order for a fresh uh, uh, conduct of primaries in Benue State. A total of 13 aspirants contested for the number one position, which finally ended up with one candidate. Mayowa Okwato, TVC News.